Are you ready to go? I am taking Monroe to the vet. She's gonna get a blood test so we can see if she's ovulating. A dog's supposed to go into heat every six months, so twice a year, but Monroe has been going into heat every four months, which is four times a year since she started. She just turned two in May, so we're gonna go see what's going on. Ready? She says, I'm ready, let's go. She's my co-pilot. Huh. You got Mama's co-pilot? Are you ready to go? Huh? She's so, so ready, Mom. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and go. Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous, okay? Everything's going to be okay. It's all going to work out the way it's supposed to. And we're going to do everything we can so that you can be a mommy. I know that's what you want. You're gonna be the best mommy ever, too. I'm gonna go get some answers. Oh, I see Dr. Josh now. She's watching Dr. Josh talk to somebody else. See if she yet. See if she's ovulating. Can you say hi? I want them to stay in here with me though until they're gonna actually take her in and do it. I don't want her in a kennel or anything. She's like, we don't kennel though. Okay. I really want to go in there with her. I mean, is that my role? But... Maybe you could ask Josh. Okay, I'll go ask. Thank you. Do you think he'll say yes? What do you think? I hope so. There he is. There he is. Okay, I said it was okay. He says okay. Awesome. Thank you. Do you want me to follow you? Yeah. Okay. Yay! I love her this much. I'm wearing a mask. Come on, mamas. Good girl. Good girl. Whew. Oh, I can't breathe. Look, she sees the fish. This thing goes off now. You like those fish? She loves their fish. Well, you need, a, you need your own fish tank, don't you? She loves the fish tank. Absolutely loves it. Those are some cool fish too. <laughs> Did they really? I can see why because I would have picked those out too. <laughs> we got some good ones. That's awesome. Okay, so tell me kind of how things are going. Okay. So you know her her vajayjay did not swell up very big. Yes. She's been going into heat every four months. And I wasn't sure when, when we first got her, she was around a female, um, Wu, who was in heat. And Wu went into heat every four months. It was so relative of not, her? Not physically, but she like grew up with her. Okay, but she wasn't a blood relative. No, not a blood relative. Uh-uh. Her, her size. She has, all, she has all symptoms. Her vagina does get bigger. It just doesn't. You saw it doesn't get you very big. Really, um, oh, yes. Too, right? 
Oh yes. So, I mean, you, mm-hmm. you know, and that she in does the. Itself is probably like the biggest flag as far as right. the heat goes. You know, right. The male folks are getting excited because they know way before everybody mm-hmm. else. Yes. I, yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> yes, he does. He literally knows. I know. I he usually lets me know probably two weeks before I see any signs yeah. of anything. Yeah. So, so. I thought is uh, we know for, you know progesterone levels and mm-hmm. see you know if her progesterone levels way up there go over ten or twelve then it's mm-hmm. like it's ovulated. Okay. Um, if her progesterone level is not getting up there, he said it's unlikely that she's ovulated. So. Um, that's a blood draw um, to do that, um, but of course we want to do it after she goes out of heat. Mm-hmm. So um, they've been back together now for a couple of days, and he's not—he's not trying anymore. I don't know. You said that. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. okay. If we can do that, uh, we just have to uh, get some things, and we'll draw blood, and uh, okay. that'll be it. Now she does like after every time she's had, she's very protective, like. She's the most motherly dog I've ever seen in my entire life. She will climb on me, especially when after she goes out of heat. She'll protect the kids. Like if the kids are laying on the bed, she'll she'll lay on them and won't let Tonka near them. You know, she carries her <laughs> toys she's, around and she yeah, has she's babies. Um, I mm-hmm. don't know, like because of all the hormone changes, I can't. We don't know for sure. If she's right. Right. So it's better just to check and see before we get into. Okay. Yeah, because the only thing I've seen so far is that her vagina isn't swelling. That that's yeah. the only irregular thing I've seen. Yeah, we we need to make sure she's ovulating before we get into. Right. The, you know, potentially uh, manually ejaculating Tonka and you know artificial insemination, insemination yeah. and all that other stuff because we're definitely not going to. Right. No, and we'll and we'll let her play first. Um, so I'm not in a hurry. If, if you know what I'm saying? Not ovulating. Mm-hmm. It's not like we have to just um, give up. Okay. Um, we can put her on a band, you know, for um, a couple months and see if we can sort of space okay. her cycle up so that she'll ovulate. Okay. Um, so you know, we'll probably be getting in touch in touch with Doctor Pressure a little bit too, just to okay. Make sure and can you ask them about her being around because you know how women will cycle when they get around their friends and their cycles change I think it's well I guess so I didn't know if it was I yeah okay Um, because she's the she's the only other dog I've known that went into heat so often Mm -mm. no yeah Yeah. I have a feeling she would tell us it's more likely there's a genetic component to it okay but I honestly you, I can easily talk to her. Okay. You know, um, I do uh, consults with her all the time. She, she is, all she does is reproduction, and she's a really great repro doctor. So. Um, I really, really this. appreciate you. Yeah. Like you don't even know. It's okay. <laughs> You're like it's well, top of my list right now. I'll tell you what. Okay. What a yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness, look at her. She's like, thank you. A little bit of water. He wants some water, okay? Thank you. We'll see you in a little while. Okay, okay. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you. She, look, she's like, forget the water. I just want to play with you. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I don't like people. Now, if she growls, it's very friendly. When you when you tickle her belly, she has a thing where she growls. I have a little that does that. Really? Oh, I mean, She's the only one I've seen. Yes, it's anything. hilarious. People are like, and I'm like, no, it's friendly. You I said, I never it. thought I'd say it's a friendly growl, yeah. but it is very friendly. It means she oh. likes you. <laughs> oh, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Oh, that means she likes you. <laughs> oh, are you saying, oh, she says, that feels so good. Oh, yeah. Yes, I hear you. That's so funny. She'll start barking too. It's hilarious. Oh, yes. <laughs> you liked meeting her, huh? She very nice. All righty. <laughs> Remember, if she growls and barks, it's friendly. (laughs) (laughs) The 
the row, get back here. When you when you touch her belly and, and you pet her, she'll growl and she'll bark, but it's not mean at all. It's her way of saying hello. Oh yeah. She's 99 pounds, Josh. <laughs> I get treats too, so I Yeah, so if you pet her belly and she starts growling, there's no aggression there at all. She has definitely startled a few people with that. Do you want to do her back leg or front leg? Or? Oh, probably back leg. So uh, um, maybe what Same. we'll do is, uh, just give us a second. Uh, what we'll probably do is um, let you just like love on her. Okay. Um, and then um, I'm going to shave just a tiny little square on her back leg. Okay. Um, over um, her lateral saphenous vein back there. And we'll just um, try to get, we only need like, we need probably half an ml to an ml of serum, which means we need maybe two and a half ml of blood. So not okay. Too much. Okay. And she should, I, I think she'll be totally happy with it. Okay, she did good. Now we'll find out in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll find out in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll find out in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll find out in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll find out in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll find out in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll find out in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll find out in a couple of days. Yeah, we